So why don't you start by sharing your name and where you're from? My name is Kyriot and I am from Pasco. Kyriot, thank you for agreeing to share your story. Let's start by telling the audience how your life was before you encountered the Lord. Um, so I grew up in a Christian home. Um, about 20, I said I would have, I decided to part ways with the things of God. And during that time, um, I started going through a process where I started losing a lot of stuff, which would be like, I lost my marriage, I lost um, my job, I lost myself in the world, um, drinking, um, partying, um, I fell into depression, I fell into anxiety, and then my illness started taking a complete turn. When you speak of illness, what does that refer to? I started, I, I got diagnosed at age 26 with fibromyalgia and lupus. So my body was literally eating me from the, I was slowly dying, in other, in other words, I was dying from the inside out. Um, I was constantly having a lot of medications that I had to take. I started off with 18 pers uh, prescription medication. Um, I, I got carpal tunnel surgery on both of my hands. My bones, my spine um, from my mid back was already deteriorating. I had two bulging discs on the very top of my neck and my low back as well. Um, this illness kept me from doing my normal activities, from playing with my kids, I couldn't do anything, took me away from a social lifestyle that I had. So my anxiety kept me closed doors. Like I didn't even like to come out at all. If there was an event, I love events and I couldn't go to them because my anxiety would just keep me home and I couldn't be around anybody at all. Wow, wow. So when was the turning point for you after having gone through all this for so many years? I had a lot of doctor visits, uh, monthly, um, monthly visits. I had trigger shots. I think that was my biggest point, pointing, uh, turning point at that time because I was tired of my medications. I was tired of getting um, migraines constantly because that was something else that I had. I had a lot of migraines during that time, um, and I would get uh, stereo shots for so my migraines won't exceed or continue on and that would only help like a few weeks and then I'll go back to having migraines again um so it was a never ending I I didn't know I know I knew that God could heal and I knew and I and I know because I have seen it firsthand and I have seen the wonders of God but then yet I just kept on going and kept going in my direction that I wanted to to take so you end up coming to a service here at Hungry Gen what takes place when you end up coming for some time and you sign up for the deliverance line when before right before the um right before then i remember my sister would tell me it's time sister it's time and i was like ah, oh, I, I knew it was time and then my parents will always tell me too it's time to change your life just get surrender give everything to god i did not want to though um but i got to a point now where i'm just like i have my kids with me and my kids are seeing me struggle I don't want to continue showing them that struggle. I don't want. I want them to believe that they have a God, a God that does great things, that is there to heal, um, that is there to restore a life that has been long gone for so many years and now returning and completely new person. I decided to come to the deliverance, and I had already signed up. I was sitting um, one of the roads and. It was my turn. I was ready to fight my my fight, just leave everything there in the hands of God and let God take over my life completely to renew me as a as a whole person who I was not before, but better. So what did you experience? Were you set free? What happened during that time? I was set free. <laughs> I was set free completely. My pain went away. I felt the presence of God over me like I've never felt before. I knew that God had already been working through me. I stopped drinking my medication. I had no withdrawals at all. I should have because 10 years is a long time, but I had none that night. And I remember I had the pain pill in my pocket thinking like, oh, maybe I'm going to take it after church or if it doesn't work. It's, no, it worked. God was completely able to remove everything that he had that same day. I left it all here. I didn't take it home with me. And I stay in faith and I, I continue to walk in that faith that God already killed me. 
you know. So me looking back and I look at my medications, I'm like, I don't, I don't need this. I already have it. I got it. <laughs> so your symptoms, your depression, it's all gone. Everything is gone. No more suicidal thoughts. No more anxiety. I'm standing in a group in the crowd with a lot of people. This should have been like my runaway kind of thing. But I'm standing here. No more anxiety. No more nothing. Come on, let's give it up one more time for Jesus. That is truly a reflection of what Jesus has done for her life. Wow. So what is a word of advice that you would give to somebody who may be in the same situation? Um, don't stop. Pray. Pray until something actually happens to your life. Don't leave from here the same. If you came here for a purpose or reason, let God do what he's supposed to do. You're not supposed to carry anything with you. Hand it over to God. I mean, we always want to solve our own issues, but it's not our issues to solve. That's why he died on the cross for us. You know, that's why we're here today. And at the same time, it's the beautiful verse always pops to my head, which is um, by his wounds, we are healed. And I was healed. Amen. Let's give it up for Jesus one more time. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us.